My lawyer seems to think that anything under 2.5 is doable, and then there's a gap between 2.5 and like 7 to 10 million that is really hard to hit. And so it's, it's kind of under 2.5 or over 10. Um, I a little bit disagree. I think that there, there are pockets that you can, you can make 4 to $5 million films in. I also feel like 2.5 is a really hard film to make um, because you're dealing with DGA, SAG, Teamsters, IA, but you are not paying anyone rates that they want to actually work for. Um, and so you're really spending all this money on the fringe and you're not spending real money on screen. Um, so in this regards, the smaller films, the under a million dollar films, the 500 grand films, even the, you know, under hundred grand films are popping up all over the place. And I think, um, filmmakers of the future are people who are just taking the chance of just trying to make a film with n what they have. Um, and a couple of those films are going to go far. And as long as those filmmakers know how to tell a story well, they can go far as well. And so, you know, I'm dabbling a little bit with the, the smaller stuff if I believe the director can really pull it off. I mean, you know, on a smaller film, when you can't pay people really what you're supposed to pay them, uh, we kind of move people up. So, you know, a coordinator can become a production supervisor. Um, a supervisor can become a line producer. Um, I think it's really important that uh, people look at these smaller films and say, okay, I just did six months on a TV show. I've been getting paid a good amount of money. Now I'm going to go do a six-week indie, very small, that I'm going to be a producer on or I'm going to be the production supervisor on because sometimes in this industry you get pigeonholed in one place. And if you want to be a career-long production coordinator, that's great. But if you're aspiring up, you need to take that chance to sometimes take a step down to kind of take two big steps up. Um, and so that's what these smaller films give you the chance to do is, is really wear that hat and take the responsibility of a bigger role where not that you have room to fail, but you have room to kind of learn and learn from both your success and when you don't always do so well.